up, Pisces, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, I am back. Had to take a bit of a hiatus, got a little bit overwhelmed with the workload, but here we are. So let's see what's been going on with you guys. I hope you had a good, what month was I gone? September I was gone. So I hope you guys had a good September slash, oh no, no, October I was gone. So I hope you guys had a good October. Um, but let's see what's going on for November. Let's see what your cards are bringing, what this Scorpio energy is gonna do for you guys. All right, so what is going on for the sign of Pisces, November 2019. Now this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces signs. And keep in mind, guys, that the energies here could be transferable, so it could be something that I'm picking up on you or something um, that I'm picking up with a person close to you or around you. All right, so what's up with Pisces? All right. So we have past, present, and future. Okay. And the deck I'm using, guys, Golden Universal Tarot. If anyone's interested, I have this like all run down and stuff, but it's a good deck. So, all right, guys, the energy that you have here, beautiful. Lover's card. So with the lover's card, obviously this could have to do with intimacy, you know, within a love partner. This could be you just being very close to a person, family, friend, doesn't matter. You have the queen of cups behind that. So something where you'd feel good, where you feel very strongly, but there's something that it's like you're kind of still involved in that's not working out for you at the same time. So we'll keep that in mind. We'll see how, you know, the story develops and we'll talk about it. So let's start with your past. The first card you guys got here is the full card. So with the full card, you know, you're going towards something new. This is something that you haven't done before. This is, you know, unmarked territory for you. There's an excitement that comes with this. Why is this here? We have the nine of pentacles. And we have the tower card. Okay. So for a lot of you, maybe this didn't come in the best way. Maybe there was something you had to cut out or something that you had to protect yourself from. Maybe you were on the fence about it, but you knew your soul wasn't, you know, feeling good here. But I see a change here that happened where maybe a person became single or maybe a person had to really just handle the situation on their own. Now, this person is a person that could handle something on their own. It doesn't mean they necessarily wanted to, okay? Because, again, there is a loss that's being felt here. Just remember, guys, with the Five of Cups, when this card comes out, most of the time, a person is focusing on what they've lost as opposed to what they still have going for them, okay? So you want to keep in mind, you know, the realistic solutions you have for yourself, okay? Don't ignore that. And I have incense burning, guys. If you see smoke going across the screen, I keep trying to move it, but no matter where I move it, the smoke always comes my way. So here we are. All right, guys, next card, you have the Page of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn involved in your life in some way, shape, or form. But this is ideas. This is building. This is putting an idea out there. Like, how can we make this happen? You're not actively making it happen yet, but this is like the planning stages. So let's see why this is here. Ten of Swords. And seven of pentacles so there's talk of something and it's like someone's waiting on something to happen but there's a sense of betrayal here um there's a sense of hurt or something ending harshly or abruptly okay someone i feel like there's something here where a person doesn't exactly know all the facts and they're they're in a position where they realize they have to remove themselves from something and they have to heal from something okay and they have to see things for what it is and you know move forward all right, so maybe that's where the loss is coming from. Lastly, we do have the Six of Wands for your past. So this is a card of victory. This is a card of, you know, celebrating. Knight of Cups. That could be you guys, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Then we have the Three of Pentacles in the verse. So whatever happened here, guys, whatever burden this was, whatever they don't work out, whoever you didn't see eye to eye with, whatever the situation was, it's a better thing that it didn't work out. You're successful because it did not work out. Okay, you cut something off and maybe it was hard to leave behind. Maybe this is something that made you unhappy, but deep down in your soul, you knew you had to let it go. 
um, even if you didn't want to admit that right away, okay? It's something that was out of your control. It's something that just caused too much unhappiness where you had to leave someone or something, okay? Something had to be dropped here. Could have been a friend, family member. It doesn't matter. They were dropped, okay? Now, in the present moment, the first card that you guys have, four of wands, stability, you know, being in a good place, having a solid foundation. This could be cards that have to talk, uh, a card that has to talk about engagements, um, marriages, stuff like that. But just being in a solid place, having a good, like, home front. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Hanged Man. Okay. So, it's like there's, there's something here where you want to be stable, you want to do what just seems natural to you. you want to go with the flow but on the other end it's like you guys are receiving some sort of i want to say hostility okay it's like you have something good here but there's some sort of reservation whether it's coming from you or someone's reserved about what you're going towards let me pull another card here you have the lover's card Yeah, guys, this is a catch-22 situation because there's something that's good and solid here, but there's something that really just needs to be let go of where it's just, it's too tumultuous. It really, really is. Six of Cups. There's something... Okay. For some of you, you are in a place where... Stability comes in because you just removed yourself from something. And that's simply what it is. I'm stable now because you're not in my life anymore. Or this is not in my life anymore. For others of you, you're going towards something that makes you feel stable, that makes you feel good. But there's some sort of aspect or element from the past that is is kind of getting in the way. And, and not in a good way. It's just bringing on like suffering and anger and all that. So I, I see it kind of as like a mosquito in your ear where it's like you just you want to kill it, but you can't find it. <laughs> so it, it's like that sort of thing where you just kind of want to move forward. Um, I mean, the next card that you guys have, we'll move forward. We'll see how this develops. But the next card you guys have, and this is also the center of your reading, um, where the energy is central, everything taps into it. You have the three of wands in the verse. There's something you're not waiting for anymore. There's something in your life that you're realizing, I can no longer expand in this way. Okay, so let's see what that is in regards to. High Priestess in the reverse, something that you guys don't want to see for what it is. Eight of Swords in the reverse, but you did see it for what it is. Um, Pisces, I tell you guys all the time, I don't like it when this card comes out for you guys because this is so out of character. You guys are naturally very, very intuitive, okay? Um, of course, um, a Pisces that is not as evolved, they haven't like tapped into their spiritual awakening or anything like that. Um, yeah, there can be a lot of road bumps that you have when it comes to just naturally picking up on energies around you but if you're someone that's done some sort of self-work meditated at least once in your life you know um it, it's something that comes so natural for you so there's something that deep down inside you know cannot continue bless you eli you know it cannot continue and you're seeing it as something that you know can't continue but it's still there in some way shape or form there's just no more control here there's no more happiness here it's ran its course, guys. Whatever this is, it's ran its course. Okay? Last card for the present moment, Sun card. All right? So let's see why this is here. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Whatever this is, guys, Spirit is just saying stand your ground. Okay? You're going through something that was karmic or maybe this is something that had to do with, um, you know, court in some way, shape, or form. Whatever this is that's unfinished in your life that you know you don't have control of, let it go, okay? And be strong. With you being strong and standing your ground, you have something coming in that is promising, that has longevity behind it, something that you can really rely on, something that brings blessings and just a warmness into your life, okay? So keep that in mind. So let's move forward into your future. The first card that you guys have is the devil card in the reverse. Coming out of something toxic, letting go of toxic habits, letting go of toxic people. Page of Wands in the reverse. And the Empress card. I don't know who it is, guys, that is pissed off at you for, for moving on in life. 
and it, it doesn't have to be love wise it could be anything it could be an old boss it could be an old friend that's just a shitty friend now and you found better friends it could just be anything like that um and it could be vice versa too but somebody's going towards something new and something that's healthier and better for them just environment wise and someone's very upset okay regardless of who's doing what you kind of have to question a person that gets upset when you do something that's good for you okay it's funny because um i couldn't put my finger on why there was one person in my life that i just couldn't have in my life and i, I just i didn't understand it because they were so kind to me and i'm just like why why can't this person be in my life and then it took an outside friend because sometimes when something's so close to you you can't see it for what it is even if you're a tarot reader <laughs> but i had a few friends like wait isn't that person very very jealous anytime something good happens for you or anytime you get close to other people and i'm like oh shit yes and i have to cut that out it's so unhealthy guys so whether you're doing that to someone or someone's doing that to you you got to think about how shitty of a place that's coming from it's like you can't be happy and you can't have good things unless i'm somewhat in some way shape or form involved in this no fuck that we're not doing that nope not today so it's just something reckless. Someone's just not happy to see something moving forward. Okay. The next card you guys have is the moon card. Let's see why this is here. Queen of Cups. Good. And three of cups in the reverse. So with whatever this is, guys, it's like you know what's going to be good for you. You know what's going to make you happy. You know what's going to fulfill you. But don't do anything crazy and mess up something good by still entertaining something from the past. Three of Cups in the reverse. So this could be a third party situation in love, but it could also be someone that has to remove themselves from some sort of social setting. Why is this Three of Cups here? Nine of Cups in the reverse. It's a big no-go. If you guys get tempted from the past, don't do it. All right? There's something that needs to be rejected, not something that you have to go back to. Okay? The last card you guys have here, King of Cups in the reverse. So let's see why this is here. Careful, careful, guys. Careful, careful. Five of Wands. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay? If you guys get tempted and go to the past, or if you're the cross watcher and you're getting tempted and you're going towards your past, you're going to get caught. Hands down. Don't do it. If you don't want to lose what's currently in your life, don't do it. Okay? Because I just see something that is just going to cause a lot of fighting. Someone's not being honest about something. They give into temptation. And it comes out. It does not It does not stay a secret. Not from what I see here. I know this is a general reading for thousands. But yeah. What happens in the dark in this case will come to light. Okay. You guys have the... the well, how do I want to say this? You guys have a very strong opportunity when it comes to happiness. But you will be tested. And if, you know, you, you fall weak in the moment, there's a lot you're going to have to pay for. So you have to ask yourself if the repercussions of that action is worth the action itself. And it's probably not. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's get some advice for you guys on how to go about this. All right. What sort of guidance? A gift to Pisces, November 2019. All right, guys, so we have. Star card in the reverse. Excuse me. Five of Wands in the reverse. And Strength card in the reverse. Hierophant in the reverse. It's not meant to be there. It's unconventional. Whatever in your life is causing fighting, stress, arguing, conflict, anything like that, it's not where you're meant to go. You're supposed to take a path that doesn't have any of that. Okay? So there's something you're going to lose faith in or someone you're going to lose faith in. And that could seem debilitating to you at first. But yeah, definitely not a route you guys are meant to take. You guys have the Five of Cups in the reverse, Judgment card in the reverse, and the Moon card in the reverse. You're going to have full clarity as to why this isn't working out if you don't already have that, okay? But it's just saying that there's something that's bad judgment, okay? You want to be in a place where, again, you're not bringing on added stress to yourself, okay? Whatever injustice is happening here, whatever you feel is wrong, you do heal from that and you do get over that. Okay, but you have to stand through the conflict strongly. 
Now, with the Five of Swords, you know, obviously there there's going to be some sort of conflict here. You're not just going to get through this, you know, scotch free. But who are you when it comes to this conflict? You know, are you this man who kind of won and you're looking back like, yeah, I conquered that? Or are you the person leaving defeated? Okay, that's on y'all. That's completely up to you guys. All right. So very interesting um, events here, Pisces. So guys, um, I have questions on my website. So if you guys need those, you can always get that. If you have anything going on, you need some guidance for that. I'll leave all of the information in the uh, description below. High Vibrations 44 on Instagram if you guys want to check that out. And then other than that, I love y'all. I'm glad to be back. And I'll be back soon with some more readings. Take care, guys.